Hello and welcome back to Jamelia.com. It's Fro Day. Now in this edition, I'm going to show you a very simple style that I wore in my latest video. So here I'm just gently unraveling some very big twists. I spoke quite a lot about low manipulation and detangling in my last Fro Day video. If you didn't see that, check it out here. As you can see here, I'm making a parting with my fingers. It's not necessary for the parting to be perfect. Um, you know, you want it to be kind of straight, but it's not going to be seen, so it doesn't need to be perfect at all. Now I'm going in and doing the center parting again with my fingers first. And then because I want more precision, because this is going to be a parting that's seen, I go in with my spike comb. And I use this soft ball bristle brush just to get all of my strands in the same direction. Now here's my trusty oil pipette bottle that I cannot live without. Let me tell you why. Oils are an essential part of any afro hair routine. I use oils to combat dryness as a pre-poo, a deep conditioner, hot oil treatment for scalp massages and as a sealant. There are a wide variety of oils available and each has its own unique properties and benefits. Let me take you through some of my favorites. Extra virgin olive oil is my hair bay. This oil is extracted by pressing olives native to Italy, Spain and Turkey. It's a multi-purpose conditioning oil which penetrates the hair shaft. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which means it's great for your scalp and preventing dandruff. It's a highly moisturizing oil, which is great for sensitive skin. I've even used it on baby True's skin and hair since day one. It's also one of the most accessible and affordable oils out there. Jojoba oil is derived from the jojoba plant in California. Now this is a great oil as its molecular structure is similar to the sebum naturally produced by our scalps. This makes it great for scalp health as it can help to repair the hair after any damage. It's a moisturizing oil and also helps to restore healthy hair by combating any dryness. Sweet almond oil. Now this comes from the sweet almond nut found in Southeast Asia. It's one of the most lightweight oils and it's known to promote hair growth. It's a great oil for adding shine to the hair. It's strengthening and is a humectant, which means it's fantastic at locking in and attracting moisture. This also makes it a great alternative to coconut oil. If like mine, your hair is not a fan. Jamaican black castor oil. This is a super oil in my opinion. Although the castor bean originates in East Africa, due to the African Holocaust, this variety is now native to Jamaica, a bit like me. <laughs> this oil is renowned for rapidly increasing hair growth. It's also great for thinning or any type of hair loss, including postpartum shedding, chemical damage and alopecia. It thickens the hair by increasing blood circulation to the scalp. It's nutrient rich and clarifying, which makes it a great addition to a healthy hair routine. Avocado oil comes from the flesh of avocados found in South and Central America. This oil is high in vitamins A, B, D and E. It's protein rich, which all contributes to growth. Avocado oil is a natural heat protectant, so it's highly recommended before using blow dryers or straighteners and even going out into the sun. It maintains the scalp and strengthens the hair follicles. Argan oil is quite a popular one. This oil is derived from the argan trees in Morocco. It helps to prevent breakage and therefore promote growth. 
It's another oil that improves blood circulation to the scalp. It's used as a hair loss treatment and it's moisturizing and strengthening. Now there are many fantastic oils to choose from and the benefits are endless. All of the oils I've recommended are carrier oils, which means you can use them on their own or you can create an oil mix like I do. I'll leave links to all of the oils mentioned in the description box below. So here I'm just massaging the oil into my scalp as I do on an almost daily basis. And then I draw the hair up into a ponytail, not too tight now. And using a rubber band, I catch it. <laughs> Now I had this idea to do this bow style, um, I can't remember, I think I actually saw it on a little girl but I thought it could make for a really elegant style if you kind of, you know, adultified it. I know that's not a word but bear with me. And I'm just using some bobby pins to kind of secure the bow look. But did you see how easy it was to get that shape? It was literally splitting the ponytail into two and bending it around on itself. You can see that here again. So you split the ponytail into two, bend it back on itself, and then secure it with a bobby pin. It's so easy, but I think so effective. Yes. I thought it was a bit too enough for my um, <laughs> get your house in order video. So I did actually adapt it, but I definitely think this could make a very elegant going out event afro style. And as you can see, I did not gel down my edges because not everyday edges. So because I changed my mind and thought it was a bit enough for the get your house in order video, I decided just to twist down the parts and turn them into little buns. And I'm securing them with those open bobby pins. It's such a simple style to do and so quick. Quick story on that little tuft of hair. It was actually a bald patch after um, having my baby true and um, with oils and a healthy routine you can see it's starting to grow back okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this one i really enjoyed making it for you as usual i'll see you next week thanks for watching bye <laughs>